What is up, FitPros? Andy here from FitProBusiness.com. Hope everybody's doing well. Hey, this is my normal marketing, sales, and lead generation Monday show, but I'm a day late and a dollar short as it is Tuesday. Had a crazy Monday yesterday, but I wanted to deliver this message to you guys. Hope everybody's doing well. Hey, if we're just meeting for the first time, my name's Andy Salazar. I'm your In the Trenches fitness business owner, bringing you the latest in regards to sales, marketing, and lead generation, what's working for me in my business, as well as working, what's working for other industry leaders. So if you, have, you are a purpose-driven personal training business owner and you're wanting to learn how to take your business to the next level and learn from in the trenches, fitness business owners, then this podcast is for you. Today, what I'm going to be talking about is three ways that you can increase your revenue without training more clients. So if that appeals to you, stick around as I'm going to be delivering that information for you guys. I like to start the show with two quotes and quote number one is you can make fr more friends in two months by becoming interesting and interested in other people than you can in two years by trying to get other people interested in you. That's a quote by Dale Carnegie. That's just again an example of diving into other people, not making your business about you, but actually making it about the people that you serve and how you're going to reach them with your message about how you can help them and how you can serve them, but being interested in them and not only talking about you and your business, but talking about how you can solve their problems, being interested in who your prospect is. So you can make more friends in two months by becoming interested in other people than you can in two years by trying to get other people interested in you. That's a quote by Dale Carnegie. The second quote I really liked is, the best feeling in the world is knowing you mean something to someone. And that's so key in our business that we're impacting people's lives. They're coming in and seeing us on a regular basis. And to know that we have an impact on their life and that we mean something to them should inspire you and should help drive you to keep trying to grow your business and impact more lives. So the three ways that you can increase your revenue without training more clients. So way number one is you can upsell your clients on additional services. This is a great way that you could bring in additional revenue without having to bring in more clientele. And some of the ways that you can do that is number one is through nutritional coaching and accountability. This is a service you can provide on top of your personal training service where you bring them in, you hold them accountable to a specific nutrition plan on meeting them every week, having them turn in food logs. It's very simple and it's an easy way for you to increase the revenue that you can get from one client. This eliminates them having to go elsewhere like Nutrisystem or to... Um, the other one's slipping my mind right now for some reason. Weight Watchers, excuse me. Um, so that eliminates them. your clients having to leave your shop or your studio to go seek services for nutritional counseling elsewhere, and you can keep it in-house. And it's a great way for you to drive additional revenue for your business, already, especially if you're already providing personal training services. Secondly, you can add a higher level service. And this is a service where like somebody signs up, they're getting Premier, they're getting access to you, they're getting additional coaching, whether that's via online private group, meeting you with you once a week where you're really dialing in on what their goals are. You're holding them to a higher standard than you are your basic level service and that you can charge more money for them. So you can pitch this to existing clients that are serious about getting results and want to take their results to the next level. A great way for you to add additional revenue to your business without having to train more clients. And also you can add additional services to your personal training business, whether that's take, uh, adding additional workout a week that you can increase their rate or adding in a 30 minute high intensity interval training session, something where you can add an additional service to somebody that's already seen you on a regular basis, maybe that's adding a day or adding uh, some sort of additional group class or what have you to their package. So a very good book about doing this is a book by Jay Abraham and it's called Getting Everything You Can Out of All That You've Got. And the gist of this book is basically, once somebody knows, likes and trusts you, they want to continue to do business with you, you should be able to provide every service that that person needs that encompasses, uh, that surrounds your business. So if you are already personal training, nutritional counseling makes sense. Adding additional services makes sense. Teaming up with somebody that you can get additional revenue from, maybe that's adding um, massage therapy that you charge a higher rate for to somebody else and you get a percentage of those sales. Increasing you know, the things that you can have that you can sell to your, per to your personal training clients, whether that's t-shirts, supplements, Anything of, of those nature, you can even joint venture with somebody else, but that's keeping everything in-house because your clients already know, like, and trust you. They want to see you succeed, want to see you do well, and this is a great way for you to capitalize and maximize the amount of money that you can make from your existing clientele without having to bring in additional clients. 
Second way that you can increase your revenue without bringing in more clients is simply by increasing your rates. If you have not increased your rates in a long time, it's very simple to do. You post it up, you let clients know in advance. Most of the time clients are fully aware that it's prices for you go up as far as lease, your overhead, electricity, just cost of living goes up. And if they ha you haven't adjusted their rates in years, they fully understand that. And you may lose some clients, but ultimately most of your clients that know, like, and trust you that you're providing extreme value to are not going to have a problem with you increasing your rates by five, 10, $15, what, whatever you feel comfortable with. But this is a great way for you to increase your revenue right away from your existing clientele. The third way which you can increase your revenue right away in your business. Like if you're having a month where you're falling short, you can pitch selling an annual program to your clients where they get a, maybe a 10% discount, 5% discount, or get elevated to a higher level service if they pay for the year in advance. This is a great way to bring in a big rush of revenue to you where you're not having to actually bring in additional clientele, but you're capitalizing on the clients that you already know, like, and trust you that are going to be with you for a long time. You can pitch them on purchasing a paid in full sale for sale for the annual program. And that's going to increase the amount of revenue that you get in that month if you're struggling. So these are the three ways that you can increase your revenue right away and increase your business. Number one is upsells. You can sell nutritional training, nutritional coaching and accountability. You can sell a higher level service. You can have the clients add a day. You can bring in joint ventures where you get a percentage of the sales, massage therapists, supplement sales, anybody that is a like business that services the same clientele that you can sell the services and get additional revenue um, from them. And again, a great book that you can learn more about doing this is through Jay Abraham, getting everything you can out of all that you've got. Secondly, you can increase your rates. Basically add, if you haven't increased your rates in a long time, this is a way for you to get additional revenue from your existing clientele. Number three is you can sell a paid in full annual program. So those are the three ways, like I said, that you can increase your revenue without training more clients. Hope that you guys got value from this. I apologize for not delivering this to you guys yesterday. Remember, time plus consistency is going to equal results. If you're struggling with your business and you're needing to figure out new ways to bring in additional leads, close more sales, or create systems in your business that are going to help you be successful, please reach out to me and schedule your 30-minute business breakthrough session. You can do that at fitprobusiness.com forward slash breakthrough. We'll sit down, we'll dive into your business, we'll figure out what's holding you up or what steps you can take to take your business to the next level. I've been doing this for 13 years. I've grown my business over the last 13 years. I have systems in place that you can follow, that you can learn from the things that I've implemented in my business as well as some of the mistakes that I've made. Also, if you are wanting to in the trenches fitness business owner and you want to be interviewed for my in the trenches fitness business show schedule that at fitprobusiness.com forward slash breakthrough and that will be for the interview i again like i know that you guys can do this that you guys can take your businesses to the next level i'm here for you reach out to me i appreciate you so much for listening to me and for consuming this content remember don't just consume this content but also start taking action on the content that you're learning. It's not enough just to listen and learn, but also you need to take action. We'll talk to you guys soon. Have a good one.